another video, YouTube, and we got a reaction video. Before I go any further, make sure you hit that like, hit that post notification, and we gonna get straight into it. So what we got here is an underage child, I'm just calling him a child, he's only 10 years old. He is actually the son of a very famous Chicago rapper by the name of Little Dirt. And just a couple days ago, he was involved in a near fatal altercation with his stepdad. And from the sources, what they're saying is the stepdad and his actual, actual biological mother, they were in some type of altercation and in the, in the midst of that altercation, the young man, which will go unnamed and also faceless because we he's a minor, so we can't put him on the screen. He actually reached for the stepdad's um, firearm that actually was on his hip, which was the stepfather. So the stepfather had a firearm on his hip. In the midst of the altercation, he was probably doing a little bit of shaking like this. The little boy grabbed a strap and fired twice, uh, injuring the stepfather. Now, my thoughts on the whole situation, a lot of people saying, oh, he was defending his mother, but at the same time, I'm looking at it like this. His father is a, a well-known, might as well say a drill rapper. So, you know, it's a lot of the music that he has uh, portrayed over the last decade or so has been about violence, gun violence, uh, and things of that nature. So, I look at it like this. I'm pretty sure he knows the kind of music his father puts out into the world. So a lot of times they always say the kind of energy you put out, you're gonna get back. And you might not necessarily see it come directly at you. It might pass down from generation to generation. So that's what we're saying in this particular video right here. We seen the young man to the left with the OTF chain, only the family of that's uh little Dirk's label. And also you see the stepfather on the right hand side in the hospital bed. So my thing is I'm not necessarily going to say, oh, he deserved it, because I don't think nobody deserved to be harmed. What I will say is, uh, we got to paint a better narrative for these, uh, for the youth, man, for the for the generation, man, because they're actually looking up to us, and they're seeing everything we do, because they want to portray everything that we do. So, uh, all you hear is kid, you know, hurt this person, hurt that person, you know what I'm saying, murk that person. That's what you gonna think in your mind is cool to do, cause that's the only kind of music that uh, has, that has been perpetuated throughout the years. It's made popular. So with that being said, man, we gotta cut that out, man. Stop glamorizing this um, destructive music, and uh, we gotta paint a better picture for our kids, man. Cause you, at, at one point, a lot of people gonna say, hey. He was protecting his mom at the same time. It's like, yo, he could have, he could have not only injured, fatally injured the stepdad, but he could have also injured the mother. You really got to take a step back as a child, because a lot of times when it comes to these uh, confrontations between um, two adults that are in a dysfunctional relationship, and the child is around and they're seeing this going on. They don't know what to do but to react, especially if they're saying it on a continuous basis. So with that being said, we have to do a lot better at uh, really controlling the situation and paying attention to our surroundings and looking at the things that our kids see. Because you might think they're not paying attention, but they're always soaking it up. So. That's my take on the situation. I think we just need, we need to do a better job at protecting our children from these type of things. And man, and if you're in a dysfunctional relationship, uh, you need to seek counseling or just leave that person. I don't feel like we should continue to cycle 
especially if it don't seem like it's going in the right direction for whatever reason. Um, I really hope Lil Dirt did have a talk with his son and actually let him know, like, yo, that, that wasn't the right thing to do, you know. Um, that, that, that's honestly what I feel. I really don't feel like that was the right thing to do. So I really hope you had a good sit down, a good talk with him and let him know, you know, next time just either call the police, you know, or call me and let me know what's going on. I know a lot of times in the, the African American community, we like to say, oh, we ain't gonna call the police, we ain't gonna snitch and all this nonsense. But y'all gotta call the police for something. There's somebody breaking into your house, somebody stealing your car, somebody trying to try to do some, some craziness. So we need to cut that out. We need to debunk that that whole scenario right there. But with that being said, I hope this young man get better. I actually hope him and um, the mother actually have a real sit down as adults, man, and find a better way to communicate and find a resolution for that situation. Anyway, this is OG in the mouth. Thank y'all for tapping in. We gone.